Hello, it's Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I have a um, toolkit review that I picked up from Amazon. I actually picked up two of them. One of them will be going in uh, to the winner of my giveaway. If you haven't watched that video yet um, for the giveaway, I will link it up there in the eye. Just go and watch that video and you'll learn how to um, enter into the drawing for that giveaway. So let's get this started. I paid $14.99. No. I gotta check. Okay, this kit was $9.99. And I got it on Prime, so it arrived nice and quickly. And there's one particular reason why I picked this kit, and I'll show you as we get into it. So it's packaged quite nicely. Of course, it came in a box. Um, I'm gathering all the goodies for the giveaway. Here is the one that will be in the giveaway, just so you can see that I do have two of them. So it's inside this bag with their logo on it. And then it's got an instruction paper that tells you what to do um, with a couple of the different drill placements. So let, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's uh, show you what's all in here first. So it's got an extra layer of protection in this bag here. So it's got one of these 28 slot containers. I do use these. And I want to show you, if you didn't watch my updated storage for 2019, which I had this in there, I'll show you what these look like. There's 28 individual slots. You can pull these out. There are seven of them. And each one has four individual spots to <clears throat> put drills in. And you can open them separately. They're great for pulling it, <clears throat> pulling out of the container and pouring into your tray well, one at a time without spilling. And if they're easy to put labels on and the labels come off really nicely off of these. Okay, so that's I guess the biggest thing in here. And we've got a lot of wax. It's pretty soft too, which I'm going to just toss this in with the giveaway as well because I have a ton of wax and I'm not going to ever use it. So. There's, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 24 little chunks of wax. And then we've got two sheets of labels, or three, four sheets of labels, which I will throw in as well. And I, this is my first time getting one of these trays with the pen holder. I, this, I've not had one before, so this will be a first for me to use this one, but that'll be interesting. It looks a bit warped, but I'll go ahead and keep it and give it a shot. Yeah, it's been bent. And then there's these plastic tweezers, which I have a bunch of these too, so that will go in with the giveaway and it's also got a white tray which I'll throw in as well because I don't use these and one of the small boats a lot of people like to use those and then it's got this orange tray uh, it doesn't have the ridges that go all the way up but I don't have one of these either, so I'll go ahead and hold on to that. 
Here's another set of tweezers. All right, now let's get to the drill placers. We've got a six placer on the end here. And then we have a nine placer. Yep, that's a nine placer. And a three placer. Uh, a one placer with a six placer on the other end. We have another nine placer. We have another three placer. And these all have the single drill placers on the ends of them as well. Now we get into this one, which is, I've never had this, but I think that's just basically a, a nine and a six placer, one on each end. Let's see. Yep, it's about the same size. It's a little narrower. I do have a white one that it's a seven placer. So this this end here isn't on the, the orange one. This one's not narrower than these, but this one's the opening seems to be a little bit narrower. It might not be. It might just be my imagination. No, it seems to be the same. It's just they have the two placers on there and they're solid so they don't come off. Now we come with these. These are the newer, newer style things that I've been really looking forward to trying out. Okay, so we have this one is a three placer, believe it or not. It's perfect. It's flat. I'll show you how these are used. But there's a three and then that's probably I don't know how many a million and then there's um, that one's a little smaller so that might be a six or seven this is probably ten and then there's another one just like it so there's two of that size and and then oh no is there a three yeah there's a third one because that's the same so there's three that are this size and then on this, yep, it's another one that's the same size and another one and another one. So there are six of them for this size. Then on the opposite ends we have, those are just the regular. And on this side, it looks like three, six, and nine, or thereabouts. I think this might be a 15. So let me, um, let me get my diamond painting, and I'll show you how these work. So I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. This is the canvas I tried out the, uh, the grid on, which I should have it somewhere thought I had it oh there it is I have it in the box right here but um, I'm gonna use this with the rounds because this is the only project I have that's small enough that we can um, that was portable enough to just grab and bring it in here I'm gonna go ahead and use this tray here I'm gonna pour some of my three tens in here Probably zoom you guys in after I get this all set up. Okay, I've got some diamonds there. Now, let me show you. I don't know if I want to try the big one yet. Let's try a smaller one first. Let's do this one here. Now, what you do is you take the stickers that come with it. Okay, 
Okay, there's a lot of stickers on here. I'm trying to separate it, but they're kind of sticking. Okay, that's why. All right, so a couple of them came, the things came off of them. And what the instructions say to do is well this doesn't have the white protective cover on it so I don't know what happened to those so we're not going to use that one we'll just grab one of these take it off and this one's a little big for this. So you take the backing off. I've only seen this done. I've never done it. So let's zoom you in a little bit here. Okay, let it focus. There we go. All right, and you're supposed to take this sticker. It's basically double-sided sticky tape, but you line align it on the back side, press it down, and then you fold it over. the front and then you take off the sticky but it's kind of big it's too big for this so you want to actually probably cut it to the right size before you put it on here let's there so then you fold it over and then you peel off the white part which it's already peeled up. So there we go. Now we have our drill placer. Oh, maybe, I don't know if you saw that, but you can't really tell it is on there, but it's there. So let us pick up some gems, pick up some drills here and give this a shot. So it holds six like that. I have a glare going on here. And it's super sticky. You're competing with one sticky for another. Well, this may not be as awesome as I thought it was going to be. Ah, it didn't come up. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the instructions. It says three kinds of diamond sticky pens. One kind of diamond sticky pen can stick one to three at one time. One can stick one to six, one to nine. Thus, our diamond sticky pen's speed of sticking diamonds is one to three times faster than that of ordinary diamond sticky pens. Uh, the flat head of sticky pen can adjust the diamonds which are irregular and in incorrect position. The pointed head of sticky pen can stick 1 to 10. So this is supposed to be a 10. And then the other ones, yeah, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, which can increase your efficiency greatly. Please contact Whale Online customer service team at any time if you have any questions or problems. So... Let the sticker be aligned to the diamond stick pen. Press correctly and tightly. Strip the white protective surface. Use finger to press the sticker so that, oh, so that to reduce viscosity. viscosity. After the adjusting of viscosity, let's start stick 
the diamonds, scrape the diamond down from, okay, scrape the diamond down from the edge of plastic plates and we can get the stick with the best viscosity. Then the viscosity of sticker disappeared, we can use water to clean it and use it again and again. So I guess it's reusable. Um, but the lar but th these can also be used to adjust your your drills. These pushers. That's what these are also for helping to keep it aligned. But these are perfectly aligned because I used the ruler. These ones here are not so much because I was using a multi-placer with those. But that's what this part does. Um, you can also use this for the... I think that's why you, they gave you so many is because this one's also meant for aligning them. See, so like these need to be adjusted. They're not... Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that, because this was, this, these rows were really out of whack. Look at that, that lines it up really good. But now I can't decide where I want the, where they should be. There we go, more like that. There we go, now that's perfectly aligned. So that's much better than if you don't want to use that um, mesh ruler. This works just as nicely to get things lined up. Look at that. So let's take these back off because it says to you, you gotta use your fingers to take away some of the sticky because this was so super sticky it won't won't um come off my <laughs> the drills won't come off. But if I can get that to work, that would be awesome because you don't, you can actually see the drills when you're placing them down and you're not having to um, try and see where you're going when you place them as much. Okay, so since this is supposedly reusable, you just clean it with water and it can be re replaced. See, that doesn't even feel sticky to me. So I don't know how, why it had an issue, but it says to scrape down. Oh, so maybe you should, you're not supposed to go straight up and down. You're supposed to go at an angle to get the gems. They're just kind of dangling there. I don't think so. If you do it from the side. That kind of worked. So like I said, I've never used this before, but it's doing good now, except now i got my tray stuck on my... Okay, so let's try this again, now that I've kind of took some of the tacky away. I've got five of them on there, and I didn't press down real hard this time, so let's see if we can get it to... Go down, yeah. And then you can flip it over and line it back up. Line them up. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So you can, it's telling you you can use one at a time if you want. That's a bad drill right there. Broken. Gosh, it doesn't want to come up. Where'd it go? Anyway, I think it'll take a little bit of practice, but I think I think I like it, especially if these stickers are reusable. Because I mean. It comes with a lot of stickers, so, I mean, why? I don't know why you need this many stickers if they're reusable. I mean, I'm guessing eventually they, um, the sticky wears off, or, I don't know. It's, it's like those, um, 
lint rollers. Like I have a few of those lint, lint rollers we bought at the fair where you um, use it and then you, it just, the sticky um, revitalizes every time you put it, you know, wash it off underwater. But I'm, I'm, I'm being very um, tender with picking them up and so I think what happened was they weren't straightened up in a line there because that was a big mess. But there, it's all all fixed now. I should have probably started with the smaller one. Here, let me actually um, get the, the smaller one because I have that piece that I cut off from this. If I put that on the smaller one, Because that looks... Now this would work good with the grid using one of these because you can just place it down and then push them down. I don't know. But here's the smaller one. And here's the piece that... Okay, so... I'm setting it on there like that. And then flipping it over. Okay. It actually pulled it off when I did that. So now that's on there. And then I want to push it with my fingers. Make it get on there good and not too sticky. And then I'll pick up three drills here. And place it right there. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but I can actually still use this end to straighten them. Because the at, once you touch it to get the viscosity, fizz, whatever word they used, uh, the sticky's not overpowering the stick on the canvas. I picked up an extra one there. Just put it down. No, I definitely like it better than the regular three placers. And Seems to be pretty good. I mean, you can actually—I can actually see where I'm placing it when with this one because it's not fat like the these normal ones here. Let's look at the size difference. Look at the width difference on them. So that makes the difference to me on being able to see. So this is pretty cool. Let's try a little bit more here. I saw it where they were like, they would place a couple and then they would move on with the one that was left on there because you don't have to have them perfectly lined up in order to do it. So this is what they did was like, um, let me use the bigger one. So how you can see these aren't right next to each other, right in that row. So I'm going to pick up five of them. Okay, four, three. Let's pick up four. Got one on the end and then three on the other side. All right, so I'm going to pick up, put my three down here, and then I still have my one on there, and I'll stick it over there. That's what I saw in this video I watched. So, yeah, this is pretty darn cool. Uh, I'll link, um, I actually have this um, kit on my Amazon page, so it'll be under... Um, Uh, diamond painting accessories. I'm not sure um, 
I was just on Amazon trying to find this particular placer and I actually had to just look through the pictures to try and find the right one and it took me quite a bit of searching before I found it so I don't know if it's possible to just buy them by them buy, purchase them by themselves but um, I decided to just go ahead and get the little kit and it came with quite a few of them so that makes me happy I can have them in all my different kits and um, I figured, well, why not get a second one and put it in with a giveaway? So whoever is the recipient of that will have a chance to try this out too, unless you want to, you know, just go ahead and get one for yourself. Like I said, it'll be on my Amazon, my Amazon influencer page, and you can go check that out. Uh, I. I, I don't know that if I looked on um, AliExpress for one of these or not, but I didn't want to wait. I wanted to get it, you know, quickly. So I don't think I did look on AliExpress. I'm sure, I'm sure they probably sell them somewhere on AliExpress. Different shops. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them. In fact, um, I really haven't seen them used at all. It was just in that video I saw, and then, lo and behold, Amazon had them. So, that made me happy. But that, that is pretty awesome, I think. And this uh, drill thingy, the straightener. That's cool, especially since you can use, you can actually, if you're brave enough, you can use this side to put a sticker on it and get, you can really go fast on these big blocks. So I am going to let you guys go. That's all I wanted to do was show you this kit. I really enjoy it and, and for $10 you get quite a bit of stuff. Uh, they had it in a bigger kit as well, but... I mainly wanted it just for these, so I am uh, I didn't get the bigger kit. That's why I thought I paid fourteen ninety nine because that's how much the other one was. It was like fifteen dollars. So I so I figured that if I didn't buy the fifteen dollar one, I could buy two of this one and share with the, all of you guys or the one lucky winner that's going to get the package so I'm going to I don't know maybe continue working on this <laughs> but I do want to um, get this this uploaded because I want to show this to you guys as soon as possible and see what you guys think so let me know what you think of this tool I know some people don't agree with multi-placers in general, but I think this is way better, you know, for people who don't want to mess with the, like the mesh ruler or, but they want something for multi-placing. Well, the mesh ruler isn't for multi-placing, but it's to help um, straighten. So if this is something that people would like to use for multi, uh, for uh, straightening, I think this is, you know, better because I saw somebody using a, um, actually used a pizza cutter to straighten their rows. And, I don't, and it was a while back and I don't remember who, who it was that said that, but I considered it so many times, but I never, I never did try using a pizza cutter to straighten my rows. But yeah, this, this actually, that is so cool. You can just watch the, the, the drills. Just get in place. Oh, it's good for getting all that extra goop out too that I left behind from my other drill, my other uh, drill placer that had has wax in it. And that's another thing about this is it won't leave behind goop. It this doesn't leave behind any wax. So this is a. Oh, I mean, I there. This is um, awesome in so many different ways. So, yeah. But tell me what you guys think of this tool, and. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to hear what y'all think. So let me know. I'm going to let you guys go. 
So have fun diamond painting. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. And that does not mean to stick drills on your chest and walk around trying to sparkle from having diamonds on your chest. You know what I'm talking about. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.